I've got another Bricklink order, and this one is rather special. This one is from Pops Block Shop. Um, and I met Derek, who runs Pops Block Shop at Brickworld Milwaukee. Um, and we made a little bit of a connection there. A few weeks ago, Derek invited me to join him and Ralph, who runs another Bricklink store, uh, for a talk about my experience with Bricklink. Um, and he helped fund this goodie bag here as a thank you. Um, Derek actually posted a video on his YouTube channel of how he organizes his Bricklink store and he actually packed up this specific order um, as, as part of that video. So I will link both videos. Ralph's interview with me, part one has already come out at the time of this recording and there is a part two on the way. Um, so definitely follow both these people, they are fantastic. And it was awesome to, to talk about something that wasn't Lego Masters uh, for the first time uh, in, in quite some time. Uh, we had a really good conversation. I'm really excited for part two as well. Ralph did a great job with the video. Um, they gave great insight into a very fascinating part of the LEGO hobby, which is the buying selling part of it. We obviously all use Bricklink um, and it's cool to see the, the, the people behind these stores. So huge thank you to Derek uh, for funding more than half of this order. Um, so without further ado, let's, let's see what we got here. So I saw this on his store tour video, but one of the unique things that Derek does that I've not seen any other Bricklink seller do is that he reuses Lego bags to pack the orders, which I think is fantastic. That's a fun reusage uh, of these things that otherwise would go straight to the trash. So way to recycle. So as an added bonus, I believe these are parts that I didn't even order that Derek just threw in here. And they're in my favorite colors. Dark orange, tan. This is pretty sweet from the 2001, 2002 way of Harry Potter sets. That is awesome. Even this wall panel, definitely useful for building up some large castles. And masonry bricks galore. This is super fun. Look at all these like This is seriously, this is stuff I didn't even order. He just threw in there. That's fantastic. Huge thank you. Uh, this is super fun. And I will, of course, be using all these. Probably one of my most used bricks at this point in my life. One by two dark orange plate. Can never have enough of those. All right. Here is the rest of the stuff I ordered. Starting out with these, when I saw this piece, Immediately thought, Mars Mission Base. I'm sure these were used as a lava stream in some previous sets. One day, I'm gonna make that epic Mars Mission mock. That's the plan for those. Next up, we have cheese slopes. Dark orange cheese slopes, which could be used for anything. Um, and sand blue, which um, I have just a handful of, but now this is going to probably quadruple my collection of sand blue cheese slopes. I had used up all of my dark orange cheese slopes on Mars Mission Rock, actually. Got more of these with the intent of maybe creating more of that design and just love these things. Uh, they're very useful since I build with so much dark orange bricks these days. These I probably won't open the bags on as they are nicely all packaged together. But this was a color that Jacob and I fell in love with on LEGO Masters. It appeared in many, many of our builds. And so I don't have a lot of it at home, so I decided I was going to get a bunch of it. This color is medium azure, probably quadrupling my collection uh, of both these individual bricks. Um, these will be very useful. Beautiful color. Another color that I'm trying to build up my collection of is cool yellow. It's got some orange in here for mini sunshine wagons, um, but cool yellow jumper plates. Those will be very useful. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep getting few more cool yellow pieces. They are not all that common and I don't buy a lot of friend sets. So these, these will be fun to incorporate. Jumper plates are obviously so useful for getting small details in there. So now I have all sorts of them. I get them all back in the bag. Nailed it. Speaking of cool yellow, here is some more. We're just looking at one by two bricks here. Pretty versatile, especially if I were to do another structure uh, in this color. And then we've got some one by fours in here, as well as these very interesting one by two 
clip pieces. Um, they have a bar uh, on both ends. Been using those for mini sunshine wagons. Um, so I got to replenish my personal stock uh, since they're all in use right now. Cool yellow, another good color. Wow, we're, we're seeing a lot of the same colors today, aren't we? I'm so predictable. Dark orange, one by two plates again. Um, and then cool yellow, one by two plates. Arguably even more useful than the one by two bricks just because these are great for creating detail. Very happy to have these. Don't have a lot of the cool yellow, especially I've got tons of one by two dark orange plates at this point, but cool yellow definitely helping me build up that collection a little bit. One thing I find myself using a lot actually um, are the hinge plates, um, especially in tan. Used a bunch on that last castle to create those rounded, roundish towers. Um, so I figured I should probably pick up more of those because I can see myself using a lot more in the future. More cheese. Um, so this time we've got medium dark flesh. Um, and then some of these now discontinued actually um, flame yellowish orange flower pieces. They're using a new mold. Very nice goodie bag right there. Now we're getting to the very interesting stuff. This stuff I'm super excited about. So I promised there would be more Mars mission related things. And half of this bag has something to do with that. Oh, wow, these are really shiny, actually. I'm really impressed. Um, so this is a piece um, I only knew about from, I believe it was BB-8. It had one of these in trans light blue, but I saw Derek had a ton of these in trans red for sale, and I thought this would be really cool for some sort of sci-fi mock. Um, so I picked up, I don't know how many of these, with the hopes of using them sometime in the near future. And of course, See, these things are so shiny. Uh, they're, these are definitely new, unused, um, but I picked up a bunch of these trans neon green crystals, um, which of course were the power source that the aliens and humans were fighting over in Mars mission. I'm trying to get a lot of these. I made a mock with them just in a pit, um, and I used them up pretty fast, and I realized it'd be really cool just to have a ton of these. I'm building up that collection, so I usually buy out every Brickling Cellars collection of these things. We're working on something here, so these will soon be, go into my collection of these crystals. Uh, I feel like I have more. I'm got oh yeah, duh, I have the rest on the mock back in Wisconsin. They're in the bag, ready to go. That Mars Mission Mock, one day it's gonna happen. That would actually be a fun collab. I gotta find another crazy Mars mission fan to do a huge layout with me, or maybe a bunch. So if anyone else is into Mars mission or has a bunch of Mars mission-esque pieces, let me know. We might have to look into something. It's a little bit of a secret, but I've been working on getting all the Alpha Team Mission Deep Free sets together for my next Revisiting Lego Themes video. Um, so this piece specifically is one of the windscreens exclusive to Alpha Team Mission Deep Freeze. It was missing two windscreens. I think I gave them away at Brickworld Chicago Dirty Buildster, uh, <laughs> which makes me a little sad, uh, but I bought one from Derek and I've got the other one coming in the mail, hopefully pretty soon. So that's what this is for. It's a really cool piece. That is a print, not a sticker on it. For the rest of the goodies here, we got some pickaxes, which also came with Alpha Team. I was missing a few, um, and then these, Wizard Staff, which I believe first appeared with Kingdoms. Uh, I could see those being used for some interesting detailing. Not a common part, at the very least. One last bag of goodies. I don't even know what you'd call these. It's not a dome. Uh, half cylinder? <laughs> it's not quite a half cylinder, it's too thick. They're, some, they're almost like a roof tile. That's how I, I like to see them used. Not sure I have any in medium dark flesh, to be totally honest, so that's exciting. Now, this, this is super cool. So this was originally introduced with the Headless Horseman in the Scooby-Doo line. Um, and it's shown up a few other times in seasonal sets. I believe that's where this one is from, uh, Halloween seasonal set. Very cool piece. Uh, so it can fit over a minifigure head, um, but it also makes a great standalone jack-o'-lantern. Uh, a little pricier of a piece, but well, well worth it. This is definitely a new piece to me. Uh, two hourglasses, uh, dual molded as well. So there's actually some tan plastic inside there. 
um, and then the clear, trans clear for the outside. Uh, but you can see that it looks like that sand layer on top is uneven, which is really cool. It, looks, it gives it a really organic feel, but it's got a stud on the top, anti-stud on the bottom. That's a really cool piece. That'll be fun to incorporate into some interiors. And then I got these flowers. So these use that extra small pinhole. Uh, they can clip onto a number of pieces, minifigure hair for the Friends dolls, uh, but also those tri-leaf pieces. I just love this flower design. It's so detailed um, and looks very natural compared to the ones with the stud in the middle of them. Uh, really great piece. I have got a lot of pieces that I need to start building with. <laughs> This Moto's haul, the last brick lane haul, um, more stuff coming in the mail. Pretty exciting. Huge thank you to Derek um, again for helping me get my hands on these pieces. I'm super excited to use them. And thank you to Ralph for having me on his channel. Go check out that video. Hopefully part two will be coming out in the near future. Um, I'll link both their channels down below. Thank you guys again for watching. If there was anything here that especially caught your eye, let me know. What are you guys buying these days? I, I think these parts hauls are fascinating. It is it's quite fun to see what people are building with. I hope you get something out of this too and are inspired to go get some parts and build something of your own. So until next time, this has been Cheesy Studios and I'll see you later.